Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to the channel, y'all. My name is April. My name is Rondell. And today we are talking about all things La Paz, the livability and lifestyle of this seaside beautiful city. What surprised us is that it wasn't as expensive as we thought. Yeah. So we're diving right into just how affordable life in La Paz can be. Let's go. We found this cool apartment that's probably about a 15 minute drive from Central. It's on the second floor of a um, kind of a small apartment building, but new, modern, clean. Uh, when we got here, the maid was doing a thorough cleaning and showing us the important parts of the apartment to make sure that everything was good for us, which it was, thank the Lord. Um, love that this living room is nice, the furniture is not dingy, it's not dirty, it doesn't have visible stains. Um, <laughs> we are also starting to get our diets in check, okay? Mm. We have quarter one goals, physical goals. And that includes being able to survive in an Airbnb that has a fully stocked, efficient kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I'm so, so thankful that this has some of the things, well, pretty much everything we need to be able to cook our own meals and live that healthy lifestyle on our terms and without blowing all of our money on seafood tacos. <laughs> So love that there's a four eye stove here and it's stocked with pots and pans down below. She even included a few new seasonings, which is nice. The point I'm about to make, I don't think is anything bougie. I think it's about cleanliness. Mm -hmm. And one of my pet peeves is that we'll get to some Airbnbs and they'll be used sponges mm. for you to use in the sink. But guys, we found this Airbnb under the name Departamento Arena. It was about $36 a night, which was really good, especially for the quality, and it sublets for about $1,000 a month if you search for airbnb.com forward slash sublet. It's in a wonderful, wonderful area in the neighborhood of Girasoles. Definitely one to check out. But really filling this kitchen and glad that it suits our needs. A nice surprise that wasn't included in the listing is that there's a small little patio area that has a washing machine. Look, I got a bag of dirty clothes in our luggage right now that needs some help. This Airbnb <laughs> so really hit all the right that. notes for us. It was around the corner from a major grocery store and a plaza that was full of restaurants and coffee shops, which we love. It was right down the street from the beach and about a 25 minute walk from the downtown area. Uh, we looked at other comparable apartments in this area and they start at about $700 and on up from there for fully furnished apartments that are modern construction, gorgeously decorated, and they were all within striking range uh, of our budget. The vanity mirror. We have drawers fully stocked with you know hair dryers and all kinds of little towels and more blankets and all that kind of good stuff. This is just a very thoughtful Airbnb. I appreciate every bit of it. I'm just happy to be in here. Uh, happy to have something like a full size bed, but we don't care. It's it's brand new, pillow top. Um, I got the bounce on it while she was in here cleaning it. I don't know if the uh, maid thought I was crazy or not, but. Everything that we've been looking for uh, at an Airbnb for only $36 a night, y'all. So, really happy to be here on the pause. Happy to give you guys this little tour. Hey, right now we are in La Paz and looking at things that will help us get an idea of the cost of living. One being shopping in grocery stores. We're at Sam's, that's the place that we always go to. We'll also be checking out local grocery stores as well to get an idea of how much things cost. But for right now, we're gonna check out the Sam's in La Paz. Ocean over there. Mountains in the air. <laughs> Let's go. Mountains over here, ocean over there. Mountains over here, ocean there. <laughs> so for staples here, I suffer for quality. Uh, so I usually get my like underwear and socks and stuff from Sam's or Costco. So I'm buying me some underwear and socks because your brother is in need. And this is where we at y'all. $15 for four pairs. Or my friend, my little kid of coal, uh, $20 for three beer. Where we at? 159 for some Oaxaca cheese? For a kilogram of Oaxaca cheese? That's pretty good. 
Wow. 2.2 2 pounds, y'all. $8. That's a really good price. Now, the main reason we come here is for the meats. All right. They call these country ribs or whatever. I don't know why. Really inexpensive. You know, we're talking about $11 for about a kilo and a half. Three dollars. And the pollo, the pollo, pollo, pollo. Ten dollars for two kilograms, which is like four pounds. Two pounds of hamburger meat. Little ones are ten dollars. Steaks, $15, y'all. And these puppies are heavy, man. This is about two pounds. Third or fourth time, I've come looking for romaine lettuce, and it just, it just doesn't look good, guys. Now, I don't recommend getting your uh, produce from any place but the farmer's markets here in Mexico. If you guys have been around for a while, you know we live by these farmer's markets. There is no better place to get your fresh produce than the farmer's market in your local neighborhood. We love these places. The prices are right and the food is extra fresh. Yep. All of that for one fifteen. $6. Okay, that's all we go. Bye bye. So, a long time ago, guys, when we first got here, um, I crashed my drone in the side of a mountain at Paya Balandra. Looking all over the mountainside for it found it but by the time I found it I come back and my wife is having a conversation with some woman on the side of a mountain right she makes friends everywhere and this girl this woman forgive me recommended that we try a restaurant for seafood tacos Mac Fishers seems to have a pretty extensive seafood menu anything from like special plates to burritos to tacos and bananas lots of different things I'm really excited about the scallop and onion taco they have there's some shrimp and fried onion as well we've seen like red snapper sea bass marlin manta ray so many different types of seafood on this menu and I'm really excited and came with an appetite to hopefully devour some really good food. Good? Really good. Taste one. Another place you should try out if you are tired of the surf and you want some turf is a place right off the Malacombs called Taco Teria. Surf or turf tacos will generally cost you 40 to 60 pesos, which is two or three dollars. Maria California is another restaurant not to miss. They serve delicious traditional Mexican cuisine kicked up a couple of notches. Cooked with flair and sophistication, it's definitely one of our favorites. Uh, see, in La Paz. See, maize, 
we just had a great meal at this restaurant. So it gets a strong recommendation from the Arbros. Both of our plates were super delicious. We had an omelet, we had chilaquiles. I had to order a biscuit, but it's definitely a place to stop at. I believe this place is called Maria California. That's what I'm saying. It's raining outside, you guys, but it is sunshine in here, let me tell you. <laughs> so we were supposed to attend an outdoor party tonight. <laughs> we might go live in the house and try to DJ a party or something. We'll see. I'm snitching. I'm snitching on the pot. Everywhere we go in Mexico, it's a drainage problem. And we like to walk. So now we got problems. <laughs> it's been raining a lot since we've been here. And this is supposed to have 300 and something days of sunshine. The pause. You got it. You got it. My baby athletic in them. Yay! We stay dry for another city block. La Paz ticked off the majority of desires on our checklist. And it was entirely more affordable than we originally anticipated. Especially for a coastal popular city, we could comfortably live here for about $1,800 a month. No doubt, if we were settling down in Mexico, La Paz would be our number one choice, period. So much so, we definitely recommend you check it out if you're ever in the area. Look, we hope you guys got something out of our video today. Thank you for hanging out with the Yara Bros. We really enjoyed you kicking it with us. If you like La Paz, give this video a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button. button. Uh, you guys be peace, stay safe, and we'll see you on the other side. Peace and love from the Yara Bros.